everybody welcome to another wine talk wednesday i have the honor of being at high fidelity vinyl with ray wilson um if you don't know ray he's the coolest guy he sings he plays guitar he djs he owns this cool record store you do it all music is really my life right now <laughs> i love that i love that it's so cool um so tell everybody where we are located right now so we are upstairs on the second floor inside the famous nat on 6th street in amarillo texas route 66 uh, going through amarillo so we're in a very historic building um, and uh, we just really love it here it's got a great vibe and we've got our own little corner here on the second floor and they have everything here. We were perusing the albums earlier. Um, you can find soundtracks, you can find music from every decade, every genre. Anything you're looking for, Ray has. We have. And um, gosh, there's CDs, there's eight tracks, there's memorabilia, there's so much cool stuff. We will get into that more later, but I want to quiz Ray a little bit. Um, who doesn't love just like hanging out and sitting on the couch with a great album on and a great glass of wine in their hand? Uh, there's nothing better. And you, you know, be better than that. that's one of the things that I like to try to explain to people. It's one of the things that I believe that I really sell. Even though I'm selling vintage vinyl records, mm -hmm. I'm selling an experience when you listen to those. Absolutely. And so, absolutely, if you can picture uh, a crackling fireplace and an amazing glass of wine mm -hmm. and a vintage record mm -hmm. playing. I mean, we're talking the perfect, perfect evening. Gentlemen, listen up. He's not wrong. All right, so the first wine we have today, Ray's going to pair these wines with music to optimize your experience here. First wine we have up is our 2014 Mouvedra. It is. Um, it is a lovely, velvety, beautiful wine. Um, as of the moment, it is on sale to wine club members only. So if you dig what you hear and you dig what you taste, join our wine club and it can be yours too. Okay, so tell us what track you've chosen or what album you've chosen um, for the 2014 Mouvedra. Okay, so I thought of Algero, We Get By, We Got By from 1975. And this track is called Spirit. And again, you were kind of using words like velvet and complex, and I thought this is perfect because he's got these amazing backing musicians and vocalists on top of it, and it's algebra. I, mean, I feel like the timbre of his voice matches the mouthfeel of this wine so well. Like I, I can stay right here and drink this. I literally just got a chill because you're right. And so I think that if you guys want to pair this one with an album, this is the one. Al Duro, we got by 1975. If this is your jam, come pick it up. Okay, so next up is our Ape's Delight. It is a 2012 vintage Tempranillo. Um, so tell us what we are pairing with this one. So this is Depeche Mode, and it's Blasphemous Rumors. This is an actual uh, different cut. Uh, than the one that they put on the uh, first album, but this is uh, from uh, 1984, um, and so the tasting notes for him's delight remind me of kind of what you were thinking when you first brought it to my table. Notes. Um, I, this is a very bright wine. The acid is really nicely balanced by some of the oak and some of the darker fruits, and I think you were spot on with Depeche Mode because like it is 80s and it's fun and it's pop and it's everything but it also has this darker side and this driving rhythm and so I think it's you pair really really nice. I agree I think that this would be a, a great um, afternoon or evening wine when maybe it's around 73 degrees outside and not a lot of wind some 80s synth pop going in the background and a nice bottle of wine on your deck. Oh yeah he's fun. Alright, so I think this is one of my favorite pairings, just on a personal level. You saved the best for last. I, absolutely. So tell us what we're pairing with the 2015 Pinot Noir. So this is Roberta Flack, Killing Me Softly, 1973. So this particular album, to me, just exudes Roberta's um, amazing vocal abilities, and it just has this, you know, 
vibe to it. I heard he Every said part of it. Rich man. Rich man. And she absolutely is a master of the control she has over and so the show. She does have an elegance to her voice that I think matches a Burgundian style piano very well. Um, but it's also rich and deep and complex. Yes. And I, I think this is, I think, all of the pairings are my favorite, but <laughs> this one is especially this is another one of those, because we're back at the fireplace, I think, now. Oh, yeah. Maybe oh, yeah. even a fire pit on a sun, warm summer night. Oh, yeah. With Roberta serenading you oh, yeah. and this 2015 Pinot. And I have to say that if there's anything that would pair even better than this, in my opinion, it would be the 2016 Pinot. Oh, yes. Which will be released soon. So hey, we need to do a sequel when we release the 16. Can we come back? Yes, Will you let us come? Absolutely. Wonderful. This has been great. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting us invade your awesome record store. Um, we had a great time talking to you. Yeah. And we played our fun game. You guys have to get down to the mat and check this out. It's one of the coolest things I think we have in Amarillo. Well, and except for the Barzi Winery that is just out off of the water.